Hello, so we're back again together. <laughs> Actually having some fun today. Yeah, so we were just at the market this past weekend together. We're in Aurora, we're doing a day of shopping with Laura Caldwell from Left Coast Revivals, who we also were at the market with this past weekend, so. It's gonna be good to see some familiar faces again. Yes. We might be schlepping things because I brought the van. She just brought in the case van. anyone needs stuff back to Portland. But I'm shopping just for myself, frankly. I'm not sourcing today. I'm too tired to source. <laughs> so if a treasure comes out at me, that's what I'm gonna get. So we'll see what we find. Yeah, see what we find. So our first stop is Three Daisy Vintage, and they have the most amazing farmhouse patina rustic stuff. Oh, so many good floral paintings um, that I have my eye on. So I may be coming back. It's the first stop of the day, so it's hard kind of sometimes to buy on the first stop because you're like, what else am I gonna find? But um, definitely have my eye on a few things. Okay, so Heather from Restated PDX. She found this. It's vintage Diane von Furstenberg. Look at that tag. And it's like boxy and it has like cuts up the side. Are you gonna get it? You think? Yeah. I think she needs to get it. Have to try it on, maybe. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. This is so pretty. It's eight bucks. I think I'm gonna have to get it something super breakable of course oh my god that is but insane the back of it is clear glass there i am hello so you can have the decorative oh. side or the back is just a full length mirror oh cool and it's mid-century it's super heavy wow i may have to buy it well you brought the van like we keep saying yeah because i have actually needed one for getting ready that is no if this is for you for sure i have not yeah. found one that's yeah. insane. So I'm thinking I might get this because I'm, so it's 25 and it's so roomy. I love this hardwire. The hardware is great. So yeah, a lot of great stuff in this booth, a lot of gold, which I love, you know, brass, my favorite. So yeah, I thought this was really pretty too. This, oh, and then this, it's so cute. The snuffer, it's very substantial and then Taylor is still considering this mirror, so which is just stunning. So these caught my eye. This Italian metal work, I sell, um, when I find it, it sells really well for me. These are beautiful, and then these ashtrays. They're only $14.95, which I think is like really good. Look at that faux wood on the bottom. Ooh, I said I wasn't gonna do any sourcing today. I'm just gonna pick for me, but that's really good. Okay, so I finally found a mirror. <laughs> that's big enough, so what do we think? Do they think it's too big? I know it's hard to tell because I'm my other purse. I was like worried it was like, look like I was carrying luggage. I think it's pretty cute. I mean, it's only 25, so like, can't go wrong, but okay. I think it's a keeper. Okay, so these might be the cutest little faux crocheted plants. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're so creative and so cute. I love whimsical things like this. So the first round of shopping is done, uh, and now it's lunchtime, and I have worked up an appetite. So excited to eat at Philbert's, which is a really yummy farm to table restaurant in Aurora. And then I think the plan is to hit up another antique mall after this. So more treasures to come. So I got three things, I think three things, which is good. I didn't want to get a ton after doing a market weekend. I'm kind of tired of stuff. It's hard to believe, I know. Um, but I'm sure I'm gonna find more stuff I wanna bring home. So I'm tired for stuff until I see like amazing things and then we're going home. Happy right now, so thank you for being a part of this. Cheers. 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 Oh my gosh, again. So we're done with lunch and we of course wanna all do some more shopping together. So we're at um, an antique mall, South End Antique Mall. Can't wait to see what we find. Some of us are strategizing about going to places on the way home, back up to Portland. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be a full day of fun. But let me tell you, nothing is better than spending an entire day with people who loved, like thrifted stuff, love vintage, and love watching people do it. And yeah, it's just like the energy has been so good. So there's a lot of amazing art in here that's very reasonable. And Laura spotted this first, and then we're all like, what? 
it. And it's only, it's $65, which is crazy. And Taylor's like, <laughs> she may run away with it before Laura can find someone. She'll climb, she's gonna scale this. She's gonna scale it and run away. But yeah, we also are like, this one's 95, which is fantastic. So this place is a treasure trove of art. That's very affordable. <laughs> and I'm already seeing more stuff that I like. So yeah, I think I already have like several pieces picked out. So you know me and art, I can't help myself. So this place is amazing. Into the upstairs we go. So Taylor found this piece and I was like, why? So she said that I can have it because she loves me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make my crazy face. And then I'm gonna probably get this because it's so freaking cheap. So I'm gonna get this because all of this like burned wood is my jam. So, and I love the shape on this one. It's like a guitar pick and very cool legs. So this is coming home with me. So I am back home and I thought, you know, maybe I'll film the haul in a couple days. No, I'm already dressed. In the outfit, I'm already like, my hair is done, my makeup's done, although I may have melted everything off because it is almost 100 degrees today, so it was hot. But today's thrifting vintage adventure was amazing. I met so many great people. I can't believe all the people that flew in from out of state to come thrift with Laura, of course. I mean, we were lucky Laura's here in our hometown. Um, so yeah, it was really fun to meet everybody, make new friends, and spend the whole day with people who absolutely love vintage as much as I do. So usually when I'm out and about, I have to like try to like reduce the amount of times I'm talking and bringing up thrifting because, you know, this is my life. I just love it. Uh, but when you go with everyone who loves the same thing as you, it's just so fun. So today was amazing. Aurora, where we went, is definitely more like country, primitives, traditional type of stuff that you're thrifting. So that was like, you saw that in the footage. Um, but I did manage to find some really great pieces, a lot for myself, and then a few things I plan to sell. So I'm gonna jump right into the haul portion of this video. So the first thing I picked up, of course, you guys will be like, Andy and your religious stuff. Was this really pretty print of Mary? And I picked this up, it was only $24. I picked it up because one, she's really young. I've never seen her look this young. Uh, but there's this trend going around right now where you pick up like vintage prints like this and you actually mod, mod podge over them and then it transforms them to where they look almost like they are actually like oil painted. So. I've been seeing this around on Instagram and TikTok. It looks phenomenal. And I figure, you know what? A $24 piece of art like this is in like a really great wooden like gold frame. I thought that would be great. And of course I have other like, you guys know I collect Mary statues. I have other like things of Mary around. So this like, as soon as I saw it, of course, like this is the first thing that I got. So I'm like, oh, Mary, bring me the good vibes. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I grabbed this. I'm gonna try the DIY project on it. If I do and it's successful, I'll definitely show it to you guys, but I probably would showcase it on Instagram. Okay, so the next thing I got is this amazing bag. Now look at this. So it's actually gold, and I don't know if someone like painted it or it became, like it came actually gold, but the gold hardware is incredible. You can see like the clasp here, and it's just like a really fun, like it's hard to tell. Oh, here, let me see if I can scoot it down. There. So you can kind of see it's like super fun. It's kind of big. I was a little worried that it was like almost like a suitcase size, but everyone's like, oh no, 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 it looks great. So I might be going to a polo event um, next month in Seattle. They have a polo club. They do like this polo party. And so I usually try to dress up for that. So I probably will like bring this purse because it's like huge and will carry everything. And then look at the inside. Is that not the most amazing? It's like metallic. So I just <laughs> fell in love with it. I thought it was so cool. Such a unique piece, only 25 bucks. So I thought, yeah, you're definitely worth it bringing you home. And then the other piece that I got at this particular antique mall was just a wooden lid pot. So I love wooden dishes like this. Um, I just think they're beautiful. And this one especially, like you can tell, it has all these intricate carvings. I love this around here. This is only $8. That was super cute. So yeah, so those were the first three finds that I got. Um, we hit up another few places and didn't really find much. And then I went to lunch, which was awesome. And then we hit up an antique mall, the rest of us, after kind of the event was over. And we were just like, you know what, we're gonna do some more. We're gonna do some more shopping. So our final stop was this antique mall and that's where I got 
actually a lot of stuff. So the people who run this antique mall lovingly wrapped every item and before I could like stop them, they wrapped it all up. So, which is like, of course, great for transporting, but for hauls, I probably shouldn't have wrapped everything before I show you. So I may like pause the footage and wrap it all. But the first thing I picked up, one of the first things is this like beautiful Florentine tray. So I'm just like following this new YouTuber. Um, I'll pop her info below. Laura Caldwell like featured her on her channel because she met with up uh, with her in um, in Italy. Anyways, so she I guess sells Florentine trays. I've never done it before, so I thought you know this is something I can cut my teeth teeth on. It's only five bucks. And I've always been a fan of these. I just never picked them up, but apparently people love them. They have a following and they sell well on Etsy. So I give it a go for five bucks. Okay, so the next thing keeping on the Florentine train is this beautiful easel. So when I was doing the market with my friend Taylor, who also I shopped with today, um, we needed easels for our booth because we had a lot of little artwork that we wanted to showcase and plates. And so now when I'm finding these out and about, I'm picking them up because they're just, you know, so useful if you're doing a booth space. So I especially like this one because it's very ornate and cool. This also, I think was like five bucks. So couldn't beat the price. I picked up another type like this a few weeks ago and it was, I want to say it was like 15 bucks. So finding it for five bucks was amazing. So yeah, I didn't expect to like buy two things like this, actually two different vendors, uh, but I did. So, and both five bucks, like what? So yeah, I had to pick them up. This will be for sale, but this I'm going to be keeping for my markets. So you guys know I love anything like miniature and petite. So this was, I think like $2.95. It's a little carved wooden like house i mean how cute is that i mean look at the detail on it and it actually is, comes it's like a carved piece of wood i mean super cute it kind of reminds me of um like the um, pottery you can get in mexico that's very ornate it has that kind of feel so this will probably not be for sale because it's just so cute and i think it's just gonna be for me because you know i love miniatures but yeah when i saw it and for like three bucks i had to get it Okay, so more like old worldy stuff. Um, I have a collection of like goldy type of frames and this one I thought was really pretty. It's burl wood, which was very popular. It's like a plasticky resin. Um, but I thought it was really beautiful. And this also was so cheap. I want to say it was under five bucks. So I was like, yes, you're coming home. But you can see on the back it says um, burl wood, which is kind of misleading because it's not wood. <laughs> it's called burl wood. I need to do some research on that. Like why is it called burl wood? and it's not wood um but yeah i thought this was really pretty and will look really um good within my collection so this is a keeper sorry not available <laughs> no i have to shop but this but i think i have did i buy anything oh yeah i did buy a couple things for my Etsy shop so yeah this will be not available but more stuff will be available coming up so anytime i find small pieces of art i tend to buy them because they just fill that space that a lot of people have where you don't need something big or if you have a gallery wall this is an original piece i thought it was beautiful of a cow lily i think it's a cow lily um it's marked 99 so probably 19.99 but i just love that it was black in a black frame and the white like really pops i thought it was really really pretty so this was very reasonable i want to say almost everything i feel like i picked up at this antique mall was like five dollars or under i think this was, i have to go back and look at my receipt but this was very cheap too uh, this will be available in my etsy shop it will of course kill me because it it's so cool and lovely but i will say like one of the standout things that sold at the market that i did last weekend was small art like all my small art like flew out of our booth so i'm definitely like collecting more of it now anytime i see it especially reasonably priced because yeah like i said it just fills that void um where you not everyone has space for like these big pieces and these are just like so cute especially like if you have a shelf like how cute like propping up on a shelf they look really, really cute. So yeah, I thought, fell in love with this. And then just like one more look at the color. I mean, it's just beautiful. So I was lamenting to Taylor, who I was shopping with today, along with everybody else, um, that she always spots the good stuff before I have a chance to spot the good stuff. And so she snags it. Now, this is not always the case, but I was giving her a hard time. And, um, and so she found this piece of art and she let me have it because I think she was trying to like make nice of me even though of course i'm not mad um but i just thought it was really funny because she's like here andy how about this thing and how about this thing so yeah so i got first dibs for like you know like an hour <laughs> we went shopping um but yeah i thought this was very very cool so she spotted it it is amazing it's just so weird and moody i mean look at look at how that lamp is like 
painted into the dark and like the I don't know. It's just a really funky piece. Thought it was awesome. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, Kathy Young. So Kathy Young, thank you for your art because it's just so unique. So yeah, I love unique pieces like this. Um, yeah, especially like black. Like you know, I don't see many pieces of art that are like obviously like this. Apparently though, that was like the theme today. Like how cool are these pieces together? So yeah, this is another keeper, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really, really interesting and I love this art assigned. Um, so yeah, definitely going somewhere in my house. Just gotta figure out where. You guys know I'm always picking up stools and stuff. And this one I had to grab because it's that burnt wood look that I absolutely am drawn to every time I see it because just like the handiwork is incredible. And I am a person who's like very sensitive to odors. So that burned wood smell is like, oh, I can't even smell it. Um, like I'm not a person that likes to smell like a campfire, um, which I know is probably weird <laughs> because everyone does. So I'm just like, I'm so grateful for someone who like does this style because I literally could not like stand the smell of it if this was like my hobby. Um, but these have always sold well for me, this style of like wood design. So um, it's just the second type of piece like this I've gotten in a month, which is crazy. The other one I'm, oh God, I don't know, I may keep it. I need, I don't think I've shown it to you guys. If you guys are on Instagram, you will have seen it. Um, but yeah, I was really excited to find this. This type has sold well for me in the past on Etsy. Haven't found it in a while, which is crazy, like how I found it twice in a month. Um, but yeah, this will be for sale in my Etsy shop. Okay, so the final piece is going to be kind of interesting because I have not tested to see if it fits. So I found a frame that is very cool. And I'm sorry, I did not unpack this. I found a frame that was very cool. Like I don't, oh, realize it's polo oh man now my husband's not gonna want me to like get rid of the picture in it now this is not painted this is a print but we both like love polo we both like horse horse like sporting events um anyway so i found this frame i was really attracted to it because it's square but it has you know the oval in the center which you know i don't see that often so i thought it was really beautiful just for the frame i think it was like 12.95 and then taylor spotted this piece of art and she's like this is so you and she's like maybe it'll fit in your art your frame that you got so we'll see okay we'll see right now if it will fit oh it's so close doesn't quite fit but it's very close so anyway, she found this piece of art for me which is beautiful like the flowers and then if you can imagine like in my gallery wall like see the colors like totally like the the mauves and the peachy tones and stuff, which is like definitely the primary color palette of this room. Um, but yeah, we were hoping it could possibly fit in this space and it doesn't quite fit, but I have not gone in through the backside. So I guess I could take the backside out and say, I was hoping this could like pop in the front. I mean, I know that was really wishful thinking, but um, yeah. So maybe I will definitely have to try. So when I try to do the back, we'll see if it ends up fitting. Actually, I think it probably will end up working at that point through the back. I think there's like enough room um, because it's just like, if you can see, there's a lot of space here, so it should work. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I mean, how lucky to find an oval piece of art in a frame that has an oval space. I mean, that's just incredible. So yeah, I cannot wait to try it out um, and see if it actually works because that would be so cool. And then it will look so beautiful in my gallery wall. Like, I love it. Otherwise, nevertheless, this on its own is pretty remarkable. So I'm excited to put it up there anyways. So that's all I have to show you. That was my complete haul of all the stuff that I got in Aurora today. It was so much fun. And I am just told everybody we should do this once a month. Like, easily once a month. So if you um, are watching and you came and you want to do it once a month, definitely let me know in the comments and then we all can go shopping together because it was so fun having to go shopping and eating lunch. I would love to do this all the time. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and my finds. Let me know below um, what item was your favorite. And if you're looking for more thrifting and decorating content between my haul videos, make sure you check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Thanks again for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next thrifting and decorating video. Take care.